athlete of the game and player of the game, Ben Hageman, joining us. 23-point night for Ben and a career high. First of all, talk a little bit about this one, a tight game with a team that is always going to be a tough one in Eastern Wyoming. Yeah, um, we just started off super slow today, uh, but we are super tough. We're a super tough team, and I know we can't like come back from a game straight away. So we take a uh, we take pride in our defense, and get stops, and just slowly come into the game. It's just really big one for us, even though it was a tough win. Talk a little bit about the, the, the your offense that kind of started picking up there in the second half. The team kept feeding you. What does that do for your confidence when the team kind of keeps giving you the ball and keeps giving you the opportunities? Uh, that, that helped me a lot. Uh, my team, my team is believing me. Um, there's a lot of shots that I usually pass up that I don't pass up today. It's just the really confidence from the beginning, from my teammates and myself. And that helped a lot. Uh, and my teammates always always have confidence in me to take those shots. They always tell me to take those shots. But today is just the day I just. Talk Follow through with them and just took those shots. What about the free throws for you guys, too? Because you were almost perfect from the line, if not perfect from the line, and the team shot over 80% in the sec- in the first half and, and close to that in the second half. How big has that improvement been for the team in the last couple weeks? Uh, that was big. Um, I think that's what won us the game, because usually the previous previous games we've been shooting terrible for the free throw line, and we've been improving. We take we shoot a lot of free throws through practice, so that helped us a lot, and I think that's what Last question for you, and I said it was going to be one thing. We'll switch it up on this one. I just thought about that one, twenty to one run as a player. I talked to coach about it and kind of how he responded to it and how he was proud of you guys responding to it. But as a player, how do you keep yourself going when you go through a six seven minute stretch like that where it just seems everything's going wrong? Uh, we just got to stick together. That's a big thing. Uh, I think we have, a, like coach said, we have a lot of sophomores, so and we trust each other. It doesn't matter how much we're down, we're going to stay, keep our composure, stay together, and not turn on each other. We can't just point fingers. It's a team effort thing, and it's a team sport, so we got to stick together, keep our composure, and just take it by one point by one point. Great win for you guys tonight, and congratulations, Ben. Appreciate Great hard job. Appreciate it. Dwayne Salisbury joining us after a pretty intense victory out there against Eastern Wyoming. This one's a little bit of a rivalry, though, for you guys. Closest team that you guys play in region, and always a tough game in region. Just good to come away with a win. It is, you know, at this point in the season, it's, you know, uh, we, we want to keep getting better, but a win's a win, and we got to take it. Like I said, uh, Eastern was very game tonight. Uh, they never gave up. They uh, they, gave, they gave us a run, and uh, we were able to bounce back that second half and, uh, you know, win the game. Talk about the composure of this team, because a lot of times a 20-1 to one run, mm-hmm. like they went on, that, that can break a team. Your guys, they, they just, they didn't rush, they didn't panic, they just took their time. Well, you know, we do a good job of... Uh, of you know, we have some sophomores on this team. They do a good job of calming their, of calming these freshmen down. A guy like Ben, he's been in a lot of basketball games. He's been in a lot of uh, been in a lot of fights with us, and uh, so you know, I don't really worry when we get down too much. But uh, you know, I do know that this team's got a lot of fight in. Talk about Ben a little bit too, because he's a guy that when you think about the number one scorers on this team, there's a few guys that line up ahead of him, but the team. This team, we've talked about it. They trust whoever's got the hot hand, and Ben had it tonight. Ben had it tonight, and, you know, uh, Ben, from last year, you know, he didn't play much basketball for us at the beginning of the season. And then the second half of the season last year, uh, he, he came on for us, and this year it's kind of been the same. He's he's just, you know, grown from the, from the experiences that he had last year, and now he's become a guy that I can depend on, even though I get a lot, and I get mad at him a lot, you know, uh, for his uh, – silly crossover that he has make sure we put that on video uh but he does a great job of defending and uh making shots when we need them and he's uh a guy that you know definitely we're going to need going down the stretch last one for you coach a lot of games this week in the next four days how do you kind of manage the guy's legs especially when you got this type of a quick turnaround you know tomorrow will be just a film day uh we won't uh we won't get on the floor uh you're gonna have to learn a lot about them and I got to, you know, conserve legs, uh, conserve energy. Uh, so, you know, the, you know, what you'll see with Monday's game not being a conference game, you're going to see me play a lot of people. We obviously want to win every game we play, but you're going to see us play a lot more people. The most important game is Wednesday, Saturday.